Welcome to another video from Greenreach Technology. In this video, we're going to ins cover installing updates on Citrix Zen Server. Uh, in Zen Center, you may see system alerts. Uh, in this case, I've got four of them. Um, sometimes they may indicate that I have an update available. And so I do. I have four updates available uh, for my Citrix Zen Server. The version of Zen Server that I'm running is 6.0. So I've got some updates available. So I've got my server selected. So from tools, I'll go ahead and choose install software update. In this case, it provides me the basic information of uh, some of the things I need to do before installing uh, some of these updates. It'll be helpful to read through those so that you're aware of what needs to be done or what should be done for installing uh, Citrix updates. So in this case, um, I'll go to next and I see that uh, no updates are showing. Uh, there's the option to add, but what I need to do before I add the updates is I need to actually download the Zen server updates. And here it gives me a status of uh, my environment. It shows my Zen Center is up to date, uh, running the latest major build of Citrix Zen Server. Uh, but I've got some updates to do. At this point, it shows me uh, the hot fixes as well as a, a brief description of what it fixes. Uh, so here I'm going to choose, I, I get the exclamation point. Uh, or exclamation mark that I don't have this update. So I just click on the exclamation mark and it's going to take me to the download site for the hotfix. Choose download. At this point I can see that my hotfix is being downloaded. All right, the download is completed. Um, the hotfixes come zipped in a, uh, a zip folder or zip file uh, that actually need to be unpacked before you can actually install the update. So let's go ahead and uh, unzip the, uh, the update. And I'll go ahead and toss it on my desktop. Close out and let's go uh, back to the update process. So at this point, I've got an update uh, that I, I want to add. So I choose add and I'll browse to my desktop and I will choose the, the hotfix that I just unpacked. Open. All right. So at this point, it tells me the addition uh, that I'm running. Or that it that the update is uh, what the update is a brief description of the file and whether it has been uploaded to the Zen server or not. So at this point, this is the only up hot fix I'm going to update or upload. Uh, so let's go next. I'm going to select the server. Uh, in this case, the option of also servers that I want to apply the update. Uh, since I only have one, I can only choose one. Let's go next. At this point, it's going to up upload the the update to my Zen server. All right, it's going to run through the pre-checks for uh, performing an update. Uh, it's going to uh, attempt to evacuate the host um, before it runs the update because the update requires that the Zen server be restarted to complete the installation. Um, so it needs to have all the VMs powered off before it can do that. Uh, and in the case of if you have a an environment where you have multiple servers that can host those VMs, while you're performing the update, it will attempt to move those VMs off of the server that you're performing maintenance on. So we'll go next. Um, there's the option to uh, perform some of the post-update tasks manually. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to choose automatically. All right, so at this point, we see that it's 
currently in maintenance mode uh, as we can see right here from the the maintenance mode symbol attached to the server and right now it's rebooting the server All right, as you can see, the server's being rebooted as I just lost my connection within Zen Center. Uh, at least from the standpoint of visibly being able to configure things as well as uh, modify the server in any way. All right, at this point, we went ahead and fast forwarded the video as it took a few minutes to uh, complete the process of rebooting the server uh, but as we can see the progress is that the update has been installed uh, and the server is rebooting again to finish the installation of the update All right, after fast forwarding the video again, after a second reboot was required, the update has been successfully installed. Um, at this point, we can click finish. Our host is up. Um, at this point, at, on the general tab of the server, we can see the update option, and we can see that our hotfix has been applied as well as our system alerts has dropped down to three uh, because one of the updates was installed. Uh, the same process would be uh, completed on all the additional updates uh, to fully update the server to the latest hotfixes. Uh, so that's how you install updates on Citrix Zen server. Thanks for watching the video and hope you enjoyed it.